Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to be going over the last portion of BMT video reaction um, So we're going to go ahead and get this started I believe this is where we left off in the last one um, But yeah, this is that was KP duty um, You know, that's that's honestly the best It's not bad you get to wake up early, but you get to eat as much have as much time to eat etc. It's nice um, so this right here, uh, so when you first get to BMT, they uh, ask you if you know how to play any instruments, and if you do, you'll actually go to a band flight, um, and you'll be the ones in charge of uh, playing all the songs at graduation and stuff like that. So that's something different. Uh, let's see, this is morning PT. Some days you'll do uh, you'll do strength day, you'll do run day, and that just alternates through the week. So one day you do strength day, next day you'll do a run day. As you see these people in the back are just doing a run. So I think it's like a 23, 24 minute run is what you're doing in the back there. Uh, while the other half of uh, whoever's in the squadron are uh, doing the strength day on the pad. Um, So that's kind of the differences there. Let's see. I believe um, this is the weeks leading up to, yeah, it's the weeks leading up to uh, Beast Week. Um, so they kind of, we have all this stuff set up outside the squadron where they will uh, show you how, um how to do everything so that way when you get to beast week you already know how to do it because this is what you're going to be doing at beast yeah so I just teach you how to bound uh security teams um how to you know give people instructions to get away from you or if they come up to your uh entry control point you know what to do how to get them on the ground it's pretty much just uh, the, the bare basics of, uh, of what to do. Um, and you'll do that for like the week leading up to BMT. Let's see in here. Just uh, getting, getting your blues. Getting all that stuff issued and ready to go. Oh, here you go. So now they're in Beast Week. So Beast Week, um, that's where you go through the gas chamber. Um, you do your firing, and uh, you live in the tents uh, for a week. And it's supposed to be like a deployment simulation kind of deal. Um, you eat MREs all day, except for dinner. Dinner, you get a hot meal. Um, you always have to have... A security team outside of the um, tent you're not allowed to uh, walk to the bathrooms by yourself you got to get one of the people from the security team that's outside they have to escort you to the bathrooms because you don't have any uh, you got to go down the way a little bit to get to it yeah this is the uh, the gas chamber so you go in there uh, you say your reporting statement after you uh, take your mask off, you have to say your reporting statement and then uh, stand there until everybody does it. And then once everybody does it, you fall out, come outside, hands are out, mainly so you're not touching your eyes because it's kind of a natural reaction. Um, believe it or not, it's really not that bad. Um, you just, you, you walk it out and then uh, about maybe 30 seconds to a minute later, um, it, the feeling's gone. Um, it'll definitely uh, assist you if uh, you're having some uh, some congestion going on. This will uh, this will clear it out for you pretty good. Yeah, so they'll do all the safety briefings, um, all your seaburn stuff and whatnot, and then you'll go do this. Uh, it's basically to teach you to know. Um, how well your safety equipment works so that way you know for, uh, how it works and, and you know that when you have it on uh, 
it works and you don't have to be uh, scared or nothing you know it's building confidence in your equipment was basically uh, the reason for it uh, I can't believe how much that there is so uh, this is like going through a uh, um, IED lanes so it kind of teaches you how to uh, how to find how, what to look for stuff like that so if you're going down you know you see wires you see you know just any odd things that would resemble like an IED kind of teaches you how to look for it and etc uh, so that's what they're doing there and like you know you have your, uh, your MTIs your cadre there that are explaining it to you um, you know you get your rubber guns you go on patrol <clears throat> to go find it all uh, so here's gonna be the obstacle course um, so that was actually I think the the most fun I had there at Beast Week was was the obstacle course it was uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, you kind of just it was like a huge obstacle course that kind of went all through the woods um, so you would just go section by section and walk over to the next spot and then uh, do the next next exercise and it was pretty fun I, I mean I had a lot of fun with it be able to get you know some little races in see who's faster showing you how to strike so like here they're basically just uh you know, showing you how to how to bound just the, the basic portion of bounding and you have to bound to get through the uh the obstacles and you start getting to the end so yeah you'll spend one day doing that one day on the O course uh, one day doing like your patrol in your IED lanes uh, one day firing one day Seaburn I think Seaburn was actually before Beast Week I think if I remember correctly I think it was actually right before Beast and then they run you through exercises um, towards the end of it you'll spend the whole day where all you do is run through exercises where you got to get in mop gear uh, the, the sound of alarms got to get in mop gear you got to secure your uh, your entry control points right here is really cool it was basically just simulation of a huge village so you formed up in your squads and then you had to go into this village you had to figure out who's the bad guys who's the good guys who you have to shoot who you don't shoot um, how to talk people down you got people speaking random gibberish languages uh, just to try to make it feel like you don't know what's going on and, and still being able to try to get a point across to that person of, of what you want them to do um, and then here's the day where uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do for that day is just uh, fire. And then basically, once you get back from uh, from this beast, uh, beast week here, that's uh, you only have well, at least when I went through, you only had a, a week or two left, and basically all you did was uh, finish out. Um, you you're taking your your final tests. Um, you're doing your final PT test, your academics test. Um, so that's when you're doing all your all your final tests is basically all in one week, along with just doing a bunch of drill just to get you ready for graduation. Um, then you graduate. Uh, you have your what three, four days, something like that, of all your different graduations. And then after you get done with that, then you uh, basically spend a week doing out processing. Um, and then we had another week where we did uh, Airman's Week. I don't know if they're still doing that or not, um, but that was basically a transition period from basic to tech school um, where you had a little bit more freedom and just did a bunch of briefings every day in PT. Um, and then once you're done with that, you're, you're done. And then you go on to uh, your last day. The Airman's Week was going on to uh wherever you had to go so for me i was uh my tech school was at lackland so we didn't go anywhere uh we just hopped on a bus they took us over to 
the other side of base, and, and that's uh, where we were for the rest of the time. Other people, like, they'll have to go hop on flights, on buses to take them to wherever their tech school is because some people are going a lot further away. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's going to be the last part of this uh, reaction video because um, for some reason I cannot find the graduation portion of the video uh, to explain any of that stuff. Um, but can't find that stuff, so here it is. This is uh, what we have. And that's pretty much all of all of basic training and what to expect. Um, so if you guys don't mind, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see on this channel. Uh, you're going to see more DIY videos. You're going to see more military videos. If you guys have questions, what do you what do you guys want answered? Um, what are some of the questions, or what do you think I should make a video on? Um, but if you guys could drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.